Let's talk the top sports story of the day. Yeah, and Cam, uh, I'm very impressed. <laughs> you say you have the cure to the Cardinals' woes. What, what is it? What's we, we got the problems wow. and, okay. and how they can fix it. Okay, right? good. We, we saw a bunch of those on Sunday. And bottom line, if this team doesn't do something to fix some of these issues, it's going to be a long season for fans, right? Fans keep asking me, what's the deal with the Cardinals? Are they going to win or are we just headed for another double-digit loss season? Right now, they are on that path. Good news, they got three months to change it and fix it. Cue the construction music, right? Remember, the Cardinals haven't won back-to-back -back games in three years. Uh, welcome to Fix It Tuesday, guys. It's time to change some things, change these faces. A lot of frustration. Hopefully help the Cardinals get some win. Fix the pass rush. Better idea. Maybe find a pass rush. Once again, the Cardinals are dead last in the league at getting after the quarterbacks, guys. The same problems as last season. Jordan Love's jersey looked like Troy just got it out of the dry cleaners. It was crystal clean. Reality is, I don't know if this is going to happen unless they make a trade. They have injuries on the defensive line. Who are you going to trade, Cam? And that's the thing. It's, it's All right. You want anybody? Uh, but this season uh, will keep going sideways unless they find ways to just touch the other team's quarterback from time to time. How about fix the offense? Find the next gear. Way too much talent on this side of the ball to be this inconsistent. Yes, they have injuries too. That right side of the O-line, not there anymore. But get this, the numbers through the first six games of the season are almost identical to the first six games of last season when Josh Dobbs was the quarterback. Wow, perennial like, backup. That's right? just unacceptable with right. Kyler Murray being back and fully healthy. Fix it. Get Marvin Harrison Jr. more comfortable on the field. We've seen flashes, right, guys? We've seen great plays, but the rookie is clearly still finding his footing in the NFL. Wow moments, right? But then we've also seen a lot of drops that didn't happen in college and long stretches where he's disappearing in games. Still no word yet if he's going to play Monday night against the Chargers. He is in concussion protocol. He so looks confused so yeah. often. He and Kyler don't seem to be on the same page so exactly. many times. And since everyone wants to compare him to Larry, here's the side-by-side -side of Larry and Marvin through the first six games of their careers. Larry has him beat in targets, catches, and yards. Larry didn't get his first 100-yard receiving game till year two. Marvin did it in week two. JG believes this is a good football team, but right now their record kind of says what they are. Playing, you know, good, clean football, all three phases to give ourselves a chance to win. Um, that's what everybody's striving for. But we, there's, you know, you, the record's two and four. We obviously have to do a better job of that. It's very clear why we lost the game. Things that if we continue to do, we, we're not going to win. Eliminate explosives. Yeah, Troy, that, that's your favorite saying. Right? <laughs> Got to get back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Eliminate explosives. Listen, they have, a, they have talent. They have pl good players. They got to fix some things on the defensive side of the ball. And the offense just has to be better. Plain and simple. They're just not getting it done. It has to be better. All right, Coach Cam and Troy. <laughs> they got to win on Monday, I think. Yeah. For sure. You think? Thank okay. you. Yeah. yeah okay. We're going to bring our whistle next time. All right, here we go. 